Hello, good day and welcome back. So today we're gonna wrap up um, this series, but um, I figured let me close it out by going through the setup for Windows. It's not very difficult at all. That's what we're gonna do while I just close out the series. Um, talk about what we're gonna do next, that sort of thing. And so what I did was I went into a Windows environment and I updated um, the Go installation I had there was, was probably like 1.6 and installed the latest Go and then I in, updated also Visual Studio Code. Um, then I checked and I saw I thought this DLV was installed already and it was actually installed in the Go path. So it means at some point I must have installed it in the past. Um, so let's zoom in here and make sure we can see the code. So let's try it. Um, I know for sure I didn't have to do any code signing or anything like that like we had to do with um, the Mac install so else I would remember that. Um, but let's try to debug this application and see if it's going to work. And so it says here that, um, you know, I need, it can't find Go. That's because I updated the Go and I should have logged out and logged back in. But I'm just going to go make sure that my environmental variables are set in Windows. And so I'm going to do that. And then um, I'm going to log out and log back in. Um, you're going to see me do that in a, in a second. I just want to verify where my Go is installed um, when I did the update. And it's installed in the same place I did it the first time. But I'm set my environmental variable, and then I'm going to log out from my system so that can take effect and log back in. You don't need to restart your system, you just need to log out and log back in. Um, so this is not Mac when we did the self sign for that to take effect, I log out, I had to restart. All right, so I'm just adding Go um, root bin, so this is gonna pick, so it can pick up Go. And then this is done automatically by default for you when you install Go using their installation um, application for Windows. Um, but like I said, I should have logged out and logged back in, but I didn't do that. So then I end up adding it explicitly and then having to log back in. It doesn't matter. Now that I'm back in, I actually try rerunning that um, debugger. And as you could see, it works just fine. Um, and just to give us a few things to go through, I'm going to just change this to OS environment or ver um, to get the environment um, instead from the OS and um, just restart our debugging. And as you can see, again, this still works just fine. Now, um, the other thing I want to be able to do is to say, well, OK, um, if this devil thing was installed, why don't I remove it and see what's required when you go to reinstall it. And so if you look there, you're gonna see, I remove it and then I confirm that it's removed. So it's not in my Go um, bin directory anymore. And so now let's go start up our IDE again, you know, editor, Visual Studio Code, and see what it says. And you can see when I start up here, it's telling me how tools are missing. And it tells me some tools for analysis are missing. When I install it, install that missing DLV. So once I do that and I try to do some debugging, it's telling me but it can't find it. Well, that's because it started up and it didn't re-examine that path. But if I just exit it and restart it, um, it works just fine. All right. So that sort of shows you that for Windows, it's very straightforward. You don't need to do anything special. All right. So what's next? So this series is closing out. Thank you. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I love Go programming language. It's one of my favorite languages to program in. I don't get to use it as much as I like. It's not my day job to use Go. There are a few languages that I really, really love. I love C. I love assembly language for people who program in um, assembly. Um, it's a different type of assembly, but just assembly language in general. And I love, love C++ at one time, and I still like it. I think it's still a fine language. It's very difficult. And when compared to the kind of thing that you get with Go, I wouldn't advise somebody to even go program in C++. I mean, it's just headache for no reason. And plus, it doesn't have some of the, t the things that you can do. Writing concurrent or even multi-threaded application in C and C++, even Java is way more painful. Java, Scala, all of them is way more painful than if you had to write it in Go. So I definitely don't advise if you want to write any modern system enterprise type of back-end application. I'm not talking about front-end application with GUI and stuff. Um, anyway, so love Go. Um, Groovy was another language um, that I really, really like and still love. Um, it runs in the Java JVM, but also another language that I love, right? Um, so I'm, I was, I'm very happy to have been able to 
introduce you to Go if um, this is your first time programming Go. And if it's not, um, and you still came to check out my videos to get some new tips or something, thank you for, for that. Um, I'm still learning the language myself and learning the tricks and so on. Um, I haven't had the, quite the number of years and the extensive use like I might have had with like C and C++ and some other languages. But anyway, so what is next? All right, like um, right now I'm also doing Kubernetes and for work I do a lot of big data stuff. So I'll at some point like to be able to start doing videos on that sort of thing. I don't know exactly what I can do video on, on that topic of like big data stuff because it is my work. So I wouldn't want to run into any issues there. Certainly things like Kubernetes um, and Docker and stuff that I still play with and I use a lot. Um, I, I can probably do videos on those. Um, other things like operating system, I use Linux extensively. I maintain Linux server at home. And so it'd be nice to do like a general Linux course just on, you know, basic Linux uses and like simple Linux administration that you can do if you were to run a Linux server. I will take a few days break and then start to figure out what I want to start doing next. But until I figure out what the actual next series is, I'll still be posting some videos. So the next video is going to be a couple of days from now. And then you can expect like two to three videos per week. Um, I'll try to keep them short. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. So, yep, still stay tuned because I'll still be posting, like I said, less frequent when, until I have another series, but there's still going to be video posted. And I'll definitely be keeping those of you on Twitter who's following me on Twitter and Instagram, um, you know, letting you know when a video is posted and that sort of thing. All right, take care again. <laughs> I know I said that before. Happy Go programming. Keep learning.